Hi, welcome to our Around the House series and today we're doing the living room. So now the living room, it, you can do it two, so you can sign it two ways. It can be L, R for living room, or you can make an L, kind of shake it, and then make the sign for room. Okay, so this is the living room. And a lot of people spend a lot of time in their living room, and some people use it just for uh, maybe an occasional entertaining. We kind of live in our living room and we do a lot of music and I'm going to be going to that side of the room here in a minute. So um, we're going to teach you, I'm going to teach you lots of signs of the things that would be in my living room. Okay. First we have a sofa. Now the sign for chair, and you can't see the chair, it's over there, but this is a sign for chair. But a sofa is longer, so you're going to make two like V claw hands right like that and kind of come out because it's like you're sitting on a bench. Okay, so this is sofa or you might call it a couch. Our cousins in Canada call it a Chesterfield. Okay, but it's all the same sign. Okay, so this would be our sofa. We have a table. Okay, two flat hands because a table is flat. Uh, and on the table... We have the all favorite remote. So you just move your thumb like you're touching, you know, playing with a remote. You might have a book, the sign for book. It's like so. Now a magazine has a spine right here. So make a flat hand and you're going to come up and down on the back of your hand. This would be the sign for magazine. Okay. And there's a chess game up here. The sign, because you know, sometimes we play chess or backgammon or something like that. So, in a game, you're gonna, it's almost not really like a battle, but you wanna probably win. I know I do. So, the sign for a game is you take your two 10 hands and you kind of bump them together like this, like you would be going into battle, but we're gonna have a game. Over here, there's a lamp. So you make a closed hand and you come out like that. If it was one of those torsier lamps that goes up, you're going to come up like this. But my lamps come down like that. Okay, and uh, I have a pillow back here. So you kind of make two C hands in case I want to lay back and lay down. There's a pillow. I'm going to go over to this part of our living room where we have all of our musical instruments. So our family is pretty much all about music. Now to sign music, you're gonna make one arm here and you're gonna take the other hand and you're gonna swipe it across your arm like this. Like imagine you're conducting an orchestra. So we love our music and we love to sing songs, okay? So it's the same sign for music and song. So here we have our Piano. Now the sign for piano, you're just like you're playing the piano. Piano. And Ken, this is just one of his little kind of practice guitars, but he's, he's got like half dozen of them. But again, the sign as if you were playing the guitar. Okay, so you're going to hold the neck of the guitar and you're going to strum it. He also has several ukuleles. Now the sign for ukulele, well there couldn't find a sign for ukulele, but imagine that it's a small guitar and so you're going to put your hands, you're going to make it like it's smaller because if you were playing a ukulele you would play it like this, not like this. So you can go small and then do the same kind of sign for guitar. Um, Back here, oh gosh, we have all kinds of different instruments because when the grandkids and when our kids were growing up and now grandkids, they would come over, they would play all these different instruments. So this is a flute. So to play, do the sign for flute, just like you're playing a flute. We have a lot of whistles in here. This is a train whistle. So anyway, to do that, the sign for whistle would be like you're blowing a whistle. 
And train, you put two fingers out like the train tracks and rub the other two fingers on top. So this is a train whistle. Okay. And ooh, and this was, this is a rain stick my son made. I don't, can you, can you hear that? It's really kind of cool. He made that when he was in elementary school. So this is a sign for rain. You just bring your hands straight down. And then for stick, you're going to take two F hands and bring them out. So this is a rain stick. Uh, what else do we have over here? I have some maracas and shakers. I couldn't find a sign for those. This is a sign for shake, but... Um, but I don't think that's a sign for shaker. But anyway, we have some bells. So the sign for bell, you make a flat hand and you're gonna take, well, there's several signs for this one. So you can take your, your fist and kind of hit it like the clapper of the bell and then kind of ring, you know, sh shake it as it comes out. So this would, we have bells. Over here, we have a fancy drum because we, we do collect lots of instruments. So the sign for drum would be like this. And then over here, we have our, our xylophone so it would be like whereas drum you would sign it like this right in front of you but xylophone it'd be like you're going up the xylophone so you just kind of like with a little with a little mallets it's like you would be playing that all right so you just do it with your with your hands okay now we're gonna go on that side of the room and finish the living room so over here well this is Tamale. This is my dog. And to sign dog, you're going to pat your thigh and snap your finger as if you were calling your dog. Okay, so this is Tamale Frolly, right? Aren't you? Yes. And she's laying on her bed. And that's where she, we keep her pillow here because she likes to lay by the fireplace. So for fireplace, you, this is a sign for fire. Then you're going to take your pointer fingers and you're going to go out and down. So this is our fireplace. But we don't, we don't use it very often, like hardly ever. So I painted a screen. Now I've always wanted a cat. The sign for cat, they have whiskers, would be like this. But because we've always had such big dogs and they really don't get along very well with cats, I made myself my own cat right here on our fireplace, huh? Yeah, okay, so now I'm gonna stand up here, okay? And then next to our fireplace, we have our television set. So what do we call a television? We call it a TV, so that would be the sign. Just do a T and a V. And then we have our DVD player, so guess what the sign on that would be? It would be DVD, right? And, um, I have a basket here, so basket, you make, put out your uh, arm here and you take your pointer finger from your wrist to your elbow because that would be the basket and it's full of my knitting supplies. So I have my yarn because sometimes I'll sit here and watch the TV and I will be knitting and or, especially when my daughter comes into town, we love to do puzzles, so I've got lots of cross, our, jigsaw puzzles here so you like you take your thumbs like you're putting the pieces in your puzzle and we have more instruments more bells and more shakers and all manner of stuff in here uh, there's a cabinet or you could do it this way if you wanted to for the cupboard uh, that we keep uh, some blankets and other pillows in in case uh, one of the grandkids comes over and then we have lots of books up here. I have lots of music books, you know, with, uh, for all my the music books up there. Okay. Okay. So now let's review our words. All right. We did a, well, first living room. We had a sofa and a table, book, magazine. Oh, we had a game, a uh, lamp, our remote, uh, a pillow, our fireplace, uh, my dog, <laughs> the dog bed. Uh, we had um, a basket with my knitting in it and some 
uh, puzzles up there. Lots of music, things with music. And this is all the same sign for song, remember that. Uh, there's a piano and a drum and a xylophone, a guitar and a ukulele. There's whistles, there's a train whistle, we had a flute, uh, bells. What else do we have in here? We got lots of stuff. Um, uh, the DVD player with a TV and, uh, and a chair. It's right there. Okay, so be sure you watch next week. We've got a couple more things we're going to be doing here. And um, we'll see you next time. And be sure you share us with your friends, okay? Play, play, play along. Come on and play.